Hey everybody, Dave Simons here. I just wanted to show you guys a quick tip that I pretty much use in every single Premiere project that I do, whether it's for freelance or my full-time work or just my personal fun projects. Here we are in Premiere, and you've probably seen a lot of documentaries, just the way people slowly move into still images. So we got this guy talking on screen, and then- I just can't. This building was built in so, 19... We're talking about the history of this building and we want to kind of make it feel a little bit more alive so we're gonna slow zoom into it and i feel like most beginners in premiere just go straight to the motion panel right here which which makes sense and then they just you know hit the stopwatch they do maybe position and scale and then do like a you know go all the way to the end and do you know a slow zoom in um which is okay. It works. It works fine. So let's do like 280 here. Let's not zoom in too much and then control it so that it's kind of focusing more on the front of the building versus the side. So let's actually do 300 and then move it so that it's on the far corner so that it's still covering up the video beneath it. And we can see this the results was here built in 19 and that works pretty well in December of 1921. However, uh, we kind of want to I mean, you can see that when you 19, watch it full screen, it's a little bit December kind of, of choppy at the way it moves. Uh, so the way to fix that is to not actually use any of this. So I'm going to hit uh, undo a bunch of times. And so we're going to go to effects and transform. We're going to drop that on there. And I mean, I learned about this a couple of years ago and I've been using it nonstop. The thing that makes this better than just the built-in motion controls is being able to use your own shutter angle. So as most of us videographers and filmmakers know, generally you want to shoot for having your shutter be at 180 degrees, which is if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you wanna have your shutter speed at either 1 50th of a second or 1 48th, if your camera supports that. And then click again the stopwatches for position and scale. And then we're gonna go you know, near the end of our clip. I kinda of like to have it kind of ease in and then stop right before the clip cuts away. So let's go to like one, you know, 30. And then sometimes that can adjust things a little bit, but there we go. Now, so now you can see that it just moves in a lot smoother. You can especially tell on the edges of the frame. And then we're gonna take another thing that you wanna know and should probably be using, especially if you're doing a lot of picture zooms, is easy ease. And select our keyframes, clicking and dragging, right click, and then temporal interpolation, and then ease in. So as you can see, it looks a little bit more natural as it moves in on the picture and then slows to a stop right at the end. It's almost like you were actually there and just actually zooming because it uses the same shutter angle as you would in a camera. But yeah, that was just a quick tip. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll have many more Premiere tutorials and gear tests and some motivational content coming down the road. I'm excited for you guys to join me for that, and I will see you next time.